Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Today we have a really interesting algebra problem. We need to find all integer solution of this interesting equation with two variables x and y. We have square root of x plus square root of y equal to square root of 2560. So how can we solve it? I want to show you my approach, a really good approach. How can we easily solve this interesting question? So first of all, let's bring this square root of y on the left hand side. So we have square root of x equal to square root of 2, 5, 6, 0 and minus square root of y. And the next step we have square root of x right here, but we need x and y without this square, so we raise to the second power. So if we read the left hand side, we will have only our x. And on the right hand side, I write it right now be without this raising, I just write it like that. So we need to raise this to the to the second power. So let's do this. This is a minus b square, a square minus b square and plus 2ab. So as a result, x equal to 2, 5, 6, 0 plus y and minus 2 times the first 2, 5, 6, 0 and times y. We can write it in one square root sign. So what we're going to do next? We can easily simplify this, this expression. 2 times square root of 5, 6, 0. Because right here we can write it as 2 times square root of 2, 5, 6 times square root of 10. And of course the same. I write it as square root of y. So we can easily write this in, in this way. So x, this is the same x, 2, 5, 6, 0 plus y and minus this. Right here, as you can see, we know square root of 256 is 16. 16 times 2 will be 32. So our final result will be x equal to 2, 5, 6, 0 plus y and minus 32 times square root of 10 y. And right now we need to look closely to this square root of 10 because we cannot simplify this square root of 10 more. So we need to use a substitution that will cancel this square root, square root sign. What the substitution? Take a look. x equal to 10a square. This is our x substitution. And right here, this is our y. y equal to 10b square. This is our second substitution. And where did we plug in this substitution? We are going to plug this substitution in the first equation in the beginning. So as a result, what we'll have? Let's plug this substitution. So instead of x, we have 10a square. So square root of 10a square plus square root of 10b square equal to square root of 25, 2560. So I hope you understand this step. We just substitute x and y by 10a square and 10b square. But right here, we can easily factor this or take behind this square root sign this a and this or a square or b and b square. So we will have a times square root of 10 plus b times square root of 10 equal to, and right here, let's write this square root of 2560 as square root of 256, which we know this, and times square root of 10. So I hope you you understand this step. And right here, as you can see, we can easily cancel this square root of 10, square root of 10, and square root of 10. And square root of 256 equal to 16. So we will have that our a, that our a plus b will be equal to 16. And as you can see, after all these simplifying steps, we will have a really good answer a plus b equal to 16. But a plus b equal to 16 is like a long amount of roots because, for example, we'll have the a, a and b pairs, which is really good for, for our answer. So as you can see, 0, 16 is good for us. The second pair, 1, 15 is good for us. The third pair, 2, 14 is good for us. Third pair, 3, 13 and dot 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 a lot of a lot of not a lot but 16 solutions right here previous one 15 and 1 and the last pair 16 and 0 so as you can see we'll have right here 16 solutions so we write right here as 16 solutions 16 solutions but we are interested not in a in b we are interested in in x and y so as a result we need to to go to our substitution, so x and y will be equal to, right here as you can see, 
10a square, 10b square. So we need to plug every of this root instead of these a and b. So x equal to 10a square. So let's go to first pair, 0 of 16. We will have x equal to 0 because 0 times 10 we will have 0. So 0. And right here, 10b square. So 16 square, 256. And times 10, 25, 60. So this is our first pair of of solution. Let's go next. The second pair. Second pair we we solve with this one. So this is our first pair but with a and b and this is our first pair with x and y. So let's go next. 1 and 15. So x a equal to 1. If a equal to 1, x equal to 10. If y equal to 15, then we will have 15 square 225 times 10. We will have 2 2, 5, 0. So this is our second pair of solutions. We don't get all of them, but for example, let's let's solve once more. So this second pair we have. And let's go with the third pair. 2 and 14. If x equal to 2, then we will have what? We will have... If a, if a equal to 2, we will have 2 square 4. 4 times 10, we will have 40. So 40. And y equal to 14. 14, 14 square, it will be 196 times 10, we will have 90, 1960. So this is our third pair of solution. So this is our third pair of solution using these 2 and 14. And we can do once more, for example, let's do this, let's do once more. We will have 3 and 13. If x, if a equal to 3, we will have 3 square 9, 9 times 10, we will have 90. And y equal to uh, b equal to 13, 13 square 169, so we'll have 1, 1, 6, 9, 0. So this is the first, first pair, let's go for example to the to the end, so dot dot dot, 16 pairs we will have, 15 pair we will have 15 and 1, but 15 and 1 is the same and as 1 and 15 we need to only swap our, our numbers, so the previous one we will have 2, 2, 5, 0, and 10, we swap it, and the last one, 2, 5, 6, 0, and 0. So as you can see, right here we'll have 16, so we'll have answer, answer, we will have 16 cases, 16 pairs of solution, and this is our 16th pair. 1, 2, 3, 4, a lot of right here, because we can, like, calculate all of this but I hope you understand this this explanation so thank you so much for watching subscribing if you enjoy it I really appreciate it and see you in the next videos